It's the fight you never knew you wanted. The former president of the United States, Donald Trump, versus Algeria's Olympic gold medal winning women's welterweight champion, Amane Khalif, who Trump, along with many others, incorrectly accused of being transgender. Who wants men playing in women's sports? And I'd like to congratulate the young woman who transitioned uh, from a man into a boxer. You saw he won. She won the gold medal. From the outset, Trump is already confused. Khalif didn't transition from a man into a boxer. That's not the issue or a thing. And is he congratulating her or is he being sarcastic? Either way, he's not making sense while Khalif knows who she is. And by definition, she is not a transgender woman because she has never been a man. In Khalif's corner on this is the Olympic spokesman, Mark Adams, who couldn't put this any clearer if he tried. And over the course of the games, he had to try a lot. The Algerian boxer was born female, was registered female, lived her life as a female, boxed as a female, has a female passport. This is not a transgender case. I just, I know you're not saying that, but uh, there has been some confusion that somehow it's a man fighting a woman. This is just not the case, scientifically. On that, there is consensus. Scientifically, this is not a man fighting a woman, and I think we need to kind of get that. Donald Trump and a lot of the world chose to ignore this fact, which makes a war of words with him practically impossible. He barely even knows who she is, and he's the one talking about her. And this person won the gold medal. Did they win the gold medal today? What do you think of that, Tim? I don't think Tim... I don't think Tim likes. A verbal beatdown against a man who has declared bankruptcy six times is hardly a win at all. So let's make this more interesting. Let's give Khalif the type of fight she's used to, a boxing match. They both wear makeup, but that's about all they have in common. At the Olympics, the 25-year-old Khalif measured 178 centimetres and 66 kilos. When the 78-year-old Trump was criminally indicted in 2020, he reported his height as being 191 centimetres and that he weighed 98 kilograms. In American measurements, that makes Trump 6 foot 3 and 215 pounds. Do you know who else has those measurements? A prime Muhammad Ali. That's what a real 6 foot 3, 215 pound prize fighter looks like. That's a size advantage that would be almost impossible for Khalif to overcome. But that frame isn't Donald's actual frame. It's very likely to be a miscommunication. Much like when he scored a hole in one. We had a five some and I made it. Uh, it was 188, five iron, little wind in our face. And I made it. And a lot of the press didn't believe it. They said, Trump said he made a hole in one. I said, no, I didn't say. And Ernie said, he didn't say he made, he made a hole in one. We still don't know if he made a hole in one, but moving on. In 2020, the White House said Trump was 244 pounds, which medically speaking is clinically obese. He hasn't lost 20 pounds since then playing golf. As for his height, we may have reason to question the man convicted of fraud's six foot three stature. That's because in a previous arrest, he was recorded as being six foot two. It's highly unlikely that he got taller as he got older. Then there's Trump's old sparring partner, Barack Obama, who is well known to be six foot one. There are hundreds of photos of them standing together and Trump does not look noticeably, if at all, taller. Despite the obvious size difference with Khalif though, she is younger and we can assume she's faster and stronger. So the physical advantage goes to Khalif. Then there's her experience and ability advantage. Trump is a lifelong fight fan, or at least he's a fan of making money from fights. He hosted several of boxing biggest fights at his Trump Towers in New York. So he's been front row to learn from some of the very best fighters in history. He's also a student of the game, apparently. In 2018, Trump was joined by heavyweight champions Deontay Wilder and Lennox Lewis, as well as fictional heavyweight champion Rocky Balboa to pardon the first African-American boxing world champion, Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson was the first black heavyweight champion. 
and he was the heavyweight champion for many years. He was pretty much unbeatable. In light of these facts and in recognition of his historical athletic achievements and the contributions to society, he really represented something that was both very beautiful and very terrible at the same time. I believe that Jack Johnson is a very worthy person to receive a full pardon, and in this case, a posthumous pardon. It was post-humorous indeed. In 1913, Johnson was convicted of transporting women across state lines for the purpose of prostitution or debauchery or for any other immoral purpose. Except it was Johnson's girlfriend whom he soon married. Of course, Trump knew that. It was a wrong and a lot of people knew it. I knew it without being an expert on the subject. I knew it for a long time. Jack Johnson was not treated fairly and we have corrected that. Trump has also made a name for himself as an early supporter of MMA and his fast friends with UFC CEO Dana White. Uncle Dana has even spoken at multiple rallies for his friend, but does that mean Trump can fight? Let me tell you something. I've been in the fight business my whole life. I know fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump is a fighter and I know he will fight for this country. While he did attend a military college during the Vietnam War, he deferred the draft four times before developing a condition that further delayed his draft until doctors discovered his bone spurs, which permanently disqualified him from service. There is no proof that Trump has ever been in a fight, but we can guess how good he might be from his dramatic recreation of Khalif's fight with Italy's Angela Carini at the Olympics. How about the young Italian, beautiful Italian boxer? She got in there and she didn't know what was going on and she was a very good boxer, you know, against other women. She didn't count on this. And he's up here, boom, one little jab, whoa. She goes, nobody ever hit me that way. Then he goes, boom, and she said, okay, I had enough. It's crazy what they're doing. His jab is terrible. While the Algerian is an Olympic gold medalist who didn't drop a single round at the 2024 Games in Paris. And her record is an impressive 47 and 9. She's the best amateur female welterweight in the world. Hands down, Donald Trump can say what he wants, but his harsh words and ill informed bigotry would get him precisely nowhere in a fight. With the women's, I repeat, women's Olympic gold medalist Amane Khalif. But most importantly, she'd never fight Trump because unlike some, she's not a bully. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.